Sheila's just having to calm down a minute. I had to go for a field full of ticks. I've probably got bits of pieces. What they never said to me is that this, where we are now, is home farm, right? So I've now got, I've been attacked big time by creatures. And uh, I've managed to find this trap by pure accident. It's a good job I went to the corner though. So I've come from right up the top there, down through that field, whereas the farm is just there. They sent me on a wild goose chase, those two boys. Anyway, I'm trying to calm down. I'm still going to carry on with my mission, but it's put me an hour behind. Now look at all that, that crop's wrecked. Look at that. That's peas or broad beans. Because of the dry weather, it's wrecked. Right, so anyway, it's, it's good to show that walks don't always go like they're supposed to, right? That, that, that stuff happens. I, don't, I try to plot my route myself as carefully as possible because of what they call the farmer's mile. They said, oh no, you can't get down onto the coast now. You'll have to walk all the way up the beach to watch it. And I, I know, I've already found how I can get on. By going in that wood, the only thing about going in that wood is I found I can get on the beach or I can do the top coastal path. because I had to walk through that field with sheep. <sighs> this is a recce. I've still got a long way to go. <sighs> Fortunately, I have got lots of nutrients. I hope they don't lock my van in that place, though. I'm really hot, because basically I was gonna have like a little break when I got up here. I was gonna have a break. There's a bloody lorry, there's a van coming down here now. I was gonna have a break. And a little rest, you know. Right, now coming into view now. So right, I'm gonna edit some of this video. I'll keep the main one, but I'll edit. Through there is West Quantock Manor, where Georgia got married. If you ever listen to this, Georgia, I've been coming across a field, fields in woods, to try and locate West Quantock Head Mansion so that I can uh, get some views but um, I'm having to force myself to calm down now because I've got angry really because you should never when someone's already been walking for a long time send them off on a wild goose chase you know what I mean it's very very in this heat as well very very naughty <sighs> So I was up, I was roaming about in that wood. They said, oh yeah, go up in the wood, keep going, and then you'll see a sign. There was no sign. Oh, so this, I think this is weak. I expect they'll have to harvest it, but the broad beans, look. Dead as, absolute dead. I am calming down a bit now. I wasn't very impressed though. I was not impressed. And there's no way I'm going back either. If someone says, you can't come across here darling, it's private land, I say, well, I ain't moving mate. Here's a big oak tree, hi there. I think you're an oak. Yeah, you are. 
Hello, oak tree. So you get the deer under you here. I mean, it is beautiful. I mean, by doing what I've done, I've actually done more than I should. I mean, the one blessing was no cows. That was the blessing. Now, in a minute, I'll go see those trees and all that. I've got to get up there yet. I've got to get on the Coleridge Walk. Right, so... I've probably got to meet people in a minute. We're going to say, oh, what are you doing coming along here? You're not really allowed to. This is private property now. Stop there. It's very beautiful. Isn't it? Look at that. Look at the corn. Look at that. Right. So I've just walked up the long track. I was right in the field, right up the top there earlier. On the type of wild goose chase. And this is where Georgia got married. She had the reception and they stayed in that house there. And she got, she, the service took place in the orange tree, orangey, or, orangery, which is in there. Because I'm an hour behind now, I don't feel I can do what I would have wanted to do. So I'm just basically just going to do an outside look and head for the church because I've got to walk all the way back yet. This is uh, where Georgia got married. <sighs> yeah. I've got videos of it when on their ma marriage day. But she had lots of photographs taken out here. I think there was places you could walk as well. And there might even be a wedding on. Could be. <coughs> yeah, there. Straight ahead. <coughs> There's the um, the pond over here. Look, a little pond. Very pretty, isn't it? A pretty little pond. <sighs> and here the water trickling. And all that view back there, all the way back there. Somebody was looking at the window a minute ago. I expect there's a wedding on now. So you know, I can't go stumbling in there. There's somebody getting married. Yeah, I've been all around that block. They could, some people might even have their funeral there. Just seen the deer reaching up then to get, um, He was right on his back legs. I see that deer there. He was on his back legs, reaching up to get, um... Look, he's looking up now. Look. He got any, Look, there he goes. He's climbing up to eat leaves off the tree. And there's a stag. This is at West Quantock Head. I mean, it's worth waiting, everyone, to actually... Come and view all this beauty, isn't it? It's worth it, really. Very worth it. And there's the ha there's the mansion, which has got a big history, of course. 
big history. I did look it all up once. Now, this is also the place. It was St. Audrey School. I think it was here. Yeah, it was where uh, Edward Glowacki, the family friend, used to be the chef here, the cook. It's also been a Buddhist centre in the past as well. So it's had several functions in order for it to survive. And up there we've got the church, which I'm heading for. And then not far from that would be the Coleridge Walk. It won't actually be that long. It won't really take me very long, really. Look at these lovely trees, though. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, I'm going to stop and take some photos.